I'm Clara Desser. I uh, work at NCAR, and um, I really enjoyed being part of uh, the committee to put this uh, workshop together. And um, I'm, I think it's going to be a really good meeting. Um, and I wish I were there, but I'm recovering from a back surgery, so it was just too much um, for me to be able to, to travel at this point. Okay, so um, I guess on behalf of, of my co-chairs, um, I was gonna, uh, we wanted to just give an introduction uh, to the week, so you have kind of a roadmap. And um, just really, it's a wonderful meeting because it, there's really not, you know, too much of an agenda other than, than good science and scientific exchange. So this meeting, uh, we really felt that there was a need for a workshop that takes a broad view of polar amplification, um, causes and consequences, and now and in the future. So this is a simple maybe statement, but it really encompasses um, a lot of uh, the talks and the reasons uh, why we invited each one of you uh, to participate in this meeting. And then, as I said, um, we're really trying to advance physical understanding of uh, this topic uh, by bringing together expertise uh, from different perspectives. So there are those of you that uh, really examine the energetics of the coupled system, uh, those that are more um, uh, experts in the dynamics, and then also radiative processes. And I think it's, it's very important to bring all of these points of view together uh, if we're gonna make progress. So really those are the uh, big theme, big picture uh, reasons uh, why we're having um, the workshop. So, whoops, it's not advancing. Oh, okay, oh, there we go. And also I very much wanna thank uh, the Aspen Global Change Institute, uh, John Katzenberger and Emily Jack Scott um, and all of the funding agencies that have made this uh, wonderful uh, workshop possible. So context, just briefly, um, back in February, there was a US CLIVAR workshop that I know many of you did attend. And it was focused on the particular uh, question of Arctic mid-latitude weather linkages. So that's kind of a subset of what the, this workshop is about, but this workshop is much broader in context and um, you'll hear a little bit about the outcomes from the U.S. Clybar workshop after my uh, presentation and uh, Zheng, Zheng Dong uh, will, will give that uh, summary. And then uh, the other piece of context uh, was that uh, we felt that there's a need for broad community input to the new polar amplification model intercomparison project and Doug Smith um, will give you a um, intro, uh, will tell you about that project. But again, as we go through the week, uh, maybe to keep in mind uh, that there is this activity and it would benefit from um, your input. So as I said, the, the name, the theme of this workshop is really breadth. And I uh, wanted to highlight some, um, some areas uh, so you can see how broad uh, this workshop uh, will be. And this is just based on all the talks that you're giving. Um, so the workshop, we consider both polar regions. Um, we're considering um, connections between the tropics and the exotropics, and that goes both ways. Um, of course, the role of ocean atmosphere interaction. This is not just an atmospheric problem. The ocean is important and it's important for communicating um, signals uh, worldwide. So this is a very uh, important topic. Um, stratosphere troposphere coupling. Many of you are going to be giving presentations on this and it's clear that 
uh, the uh, role of the stratosphere is an important one, uh, especially in the polar region. Um, another theme will be uh, forced versus internal variability. So this relates to signal to noise um, and signal to noise as it evolves from present day into the future. So again, these are aspects that we have to consider. And then um, people will be giving uh, presentations uh, from uh, the point of view of theory or developing theory for polar amplification. Uh, many of us uh, use models um, to look at these questions and we need to really scrutinize our models for uh, how to evaluate them against the short observational record. Um, so that's another important aspect. And then finally, of course, um, dealing with the short observational record, what do we know from this record and what are the limitations um, uh, that, uh, we, that this record presents. So that's an example of the type of breadth of this uh, workshop. Um, so really, uh, I would characterize the goal of the workshop as brainstorming. And I hope this is, uh, appeals to all of you. Um, really, we're trying to take advantage of the broad set of expertise in the room um, to foster new ideas and approaches. And I know many of you know each other, but we also try to um, invite people who might not necessarily come together in a small workshop of this type. So I really hope you take advantage of all the time that there is for interactions and small discussions amongst yourselves. And I hope that you do take away um, some, uh, have, have get some new ideas um, from this meeting. So again, brainstorming, what do we know about this topic and how well do we know it? Uh, what are the outstanding questions? How do we make progress as a community? And then finally, um, another goal is to frame questions, scientific questions to be addressed in the polar amplification MIP. So those are some of the goals. And then outcomes. Um, really, it's flexible. Um, it depends on what emerges from the discussions this week. And we're not going to say exactly what the outcomes uh, are. It really, it really is flexible. At a minimum, we will uh, write a workshop report. And that's why we've asked many of you to be rapporteurs for the different talks. And we will base the workshop report on the notes that, that you are taking um, and the presentations. Um, and I also want to say that Emily has indicated that we, she will collect the presentations and post them on a secure website. So those of you who give permission to have your presentation shared, I think that would be wonderful for all of us to, to have those. Um, possibly, if this is something that seems uh, to be useful, we'll, we might consider a perspective piece in a journal such as Nature Climate Change on emergent issues and themes. And then another outcome is uh, more concrete, and that is uh, to uh, finalize ex the experimental design for the polar amplification MIP. And you'll hear more about this towards the end of the week, and we have some devoted uh, time to uh, discussing that. So last slide, uh, just an overview of what, how we've organized the week. Uh, we felt it's really important uh, to have active participation. You're not just gonna sit and listen to talks. Um, and um, so we have lots of time um, set aside for active participation, uh, conversation uh, during the group walks at the breaks. So each morning break, you can get up and have a stroll and refresh. And I hope that there are some really good conversations um, that happen uh, during the breaks. Uh, we have happy hours, we have a poster session today, um, and we have discussion that's dedicated to every mini session. So each mini session is like three or four talks 
on a particular theme. And you can ask questions, of course, after each talk. And really, we have a lot of time for that. So we're not going to cut anybody off. Um, and then at the end of each mini session, then there's time for broader discussion about the themes that have come up um, on, the, on the whole set of talks that you've heard. Um, so I hope that that is profitable. Uh, there's a group hike on Wednesday afternoon. And um, tomorrow evening, uh, Libby Barnes will give an evening lecture, public lecture, um, that I think uh, will be a wonderful uh, contribution. So what happens next? Um, what happens next is um, that Jiang Dong will give a brief summary of this February workshop, uh, U.S. Clivar workshop. So you can just get the background um, of that. But really, this workshop, as I say, is much more broadly um, targeted. And um, then after his short um, presentation, then around the room you will see. Uh, posted, Emily has written out each of the, the nine questions. These are these interactive prompts um, that we handed out with the agenda. And these were questions that we, we formulated to frame the workshop. And we'd really like you to go up to each of these uh, white uh, pieces of paper, uh, I think with sticky notes, and the idea is to um, just collect uh, all of your thoughts on each one of these questions. And I hope that just standing around and looking at what people have written down, that that will stimulate discussion and interaction amongst all of you. And I think it'll be a nice collection of uh, knowledge or, or at least uh, uh, opinions maybe about uh, each of these questions and we can come back to them um, towards the end of the, the meeting as well. So that's all I had to say. I'd be happy if any of the co my co-chairs would like to add anything. Um, and I doubt there's any questions, but that's kind of the layout and the, uh, the goals um, of this workshop.